hello friends welcome back to code tonight so in today's video guys what we will see is how you can uh, find the issue uh, mentioned in an error occurred while processing your request and here it says the development mode so this error sometimes comes when you are using your uh, asp.net core applications and we have uh, published that on IIS so uh, here what I was trying was to use that so I have got here and click on browse and on clicking pay now I am getting the error now you can notice that it is not clearly telling like what is the issue it is facing so this can create a lot of problem for us so uh, what we have to do is we have to know like what is the issue here in this which is causing it to not work okay so uh, for that purpose what we will do is you have to uh, find the location where you have published your application so this is the location where I have published that application so if you don't know how to find this then what you can do is you can right click over here and then click on manage website and advanced settings and here you will be seeing the physical path okay so this is the same path that we have seen here so the first thing that we have to do guys is we have to go to the web.config file and we have to right click and uh, edit with notepad ok so this is the uh, web.config file that you see here so guys uh, with this web.config file what it will do is it will show the same error message here uh, because this is not in uh, development mode so uh, what we have to do here is we have to set the web config for the development mode so it can show the errors so uh, for that purpose what we will do is uh, this line you can see where we have specified the dot dll path uh, we will add one code here so you have to open the web config in administrator mode only then it will be able to uh, save the changes so this is the line that we have added guys uh, now this name should be the same here and then the exe and here the important thing is the environment variable uh, asp.net core environment and that says development so then we will remove the first line that was here earlier uh, you can copy that line somewhere safe okay and now we have removed that line and we have added this line so this is what you have to modify in the web config and then save it so i will let you know like from where you can get the file uh, and from where you can get the code which i just pasted here so don't you worry about that so now since I have modified the web config file now we will go to the IIS and we will restart the application and then we will browse again so here now we will click on the pay now button which was giving the error so now you can see that earlier it was showing this error message like it was not telling what was the exact issue but now it is telling us what is the issue there so it says could not load file or assembly so you can actually check the issue what is the exact issue and then you can fix that issue and then you can resolve the error okay guys so uh, this is just to show you like how you can get the exact error message which you which is you can see here so just for that purpose you can check this video and now uh, talking about the code that we just added uh, in the web config so what you can do is you can go to uh, our official website cotonite.com and we will add a direct link so don't you worry about that part also uh, and if this works for you guys then don't forget to subscribe the channel and you can also support us uh, using super thanks so this is the article that we have here uh, we will add a direct link for that 
and in this I have mentioned everything which we have just seen in the video and you can see the code that I just showed in the added in the web config so you have to add this code in the web config okay uh, you can also download that using the download button here uh, so this is it guys let us know if you face any kind of issue thank you